One thing I love about Lightroom is that there are usually multiple ways of creating a similar effect. This way you can choose the best process for your needs. Adding or subtracting contrast to a photo is no exception. There are several ways that you can change the mood or the punch of your photo just by adding or subtracting contrast. The contrast slider is the obvious choice for adding or subtracting uh, contrast to your photos. However, it's usually not the best choice. Unfortunately, it's also the choice that beginners choose first. You have very little control of where and to what level the contrast will be applied. It adds or subtracts contrast globally, which usually doesn't make the photo look its best. It also adjusts the highlights and the shadows and the darks and whatever all equally, okay? And that's not usually the best. Using the highlights and shadow sliders is another way to add or subtract contrast to your photos. The sliders do exactly as they say, increase or decrease the highlights or increase or decrease the shadows. Duh, okay? Using these two sliders allows you to fine tune the contrast in your photo much more than just using the contrast slider. The whites and black sliders is yet another way to adjust contrast in your photos. Uh, it acts very similar uh, to the highlights and shadow sliders, um, but where the highlights and shadows will concentrate more on the range of darks and the range of lights in your photos, the white and black sliders will usually focus on the absolute lights and darks. You can see that here when using the histogram to adjust uh, the contrast with these four sliders. I actually have a video in the description below on using the histogram to adjust uh, whites and blacks and highlights and shadows and also your mid ranges as well. Uh, it's in the description below. Usually you will use a combination of these four sliders plus maybe your contrast slider to get that just right. The presence portion of the basic tab includes texture, clarity, and dehaze. Texture adds or subtracts detail from your photo by adjusting minute amounts of contrast along the edges of your subjects in the photo. It can also, though, introduce unwanted artifacts if you push the slider too far to the right. Now, moving the texture slider to the left can add a dreamy, slightly blurry effect that can add beauty to the right subject, like a landscape photo or maybe a, uh, a street uh, photo, like at nighttime with neon signs. The clarity slider is similar to texture, but it focuses more on the larger parts of your subject. Many photographers will use negative clarity in order to create that same dreamy, surreal effect to their photos, uh, especially landscape photos. It works great with like foliage, um, helping kind of blur sunlight and stuff. It's, it's, it really works really, really nice if done right. It kind of acts like a mist filter that you would use directly on your camera lens. The dehaze slider is another uh, slider to add or subtract contrast. However, like the contrast slider, it will adjust the contrast globally. Plus, if you add too much of it, like pushing the slider too far to the right, uh, it can introduce some blue coloring to your photo. And it can also really mess with clouds in the sky and, and the blues in the sky. And if you decrease the dehaze, it will add some haze to the photo. Now, sometimes that's a wanted effect and you want like that, especially like at nighttime, like I said, with the neon signs, it helps out a little bit. But usually you do want to use that slider either way, sparingly. Curves is a great way 
to add or subtract contrast into your photo. By placing points along uh, the linear line and pulling them one way or another, uh, you can really turn a photo into a work of art. Um, I did a whole video on curves and the link is down in the description below. Learn Curves, it's a very powerful tool. Um, I was always afraid to use it at the beginning when I first started editing. Now I really love using Curves. You wouldn't think of using the color mixer panel to add or subtract contrast, but it actually allows you to really fine tune the way colors contrast with each other in your photo. Using the luminance slider, you can brighten or darken any of the eight colors individually. You can further add contrast to each color by adding or subtracting saturation. However, as with all these techniques I'm showing you in this video, a little goes a long way. So, you know, again, don't over edit. And that's a big time beginner mistake. The color grading tab is another tool that you wouldn't think of using to adjust contrast uh, in your photo. It too has a luminance slider to brighten or darken the color grade you are adding in your photo. So let's just say you are adding um, a little bit of yellow to warm up your photo a little bit. You can adjust the luminance slider to brighten or darken it. You can adjust the highlights, the midtones, and the shadows in your photo independently. And also, again, add your color grade at the same time. And this will further fine tune the contrast of your photo. Using localized masks will allow you to use all the tools I mentioned above, uh, but apply them to a specific part of your photo. That's why they call it localized masks. This will really allow for refinement uh, of your photo uh, to make them look professional. This is actually the secret that professionals use to make their photos stand out. Um, I do have a video, or a couple videos actually, on using masks. Again, those will be in the description below. There's even a luminance range mask that is great for adjusting contrast in a specific area of your photo. So definitely check those out. As you can see, Lightroom is a very powerful and resourceful photo editor for adjusting contrast in your photos. Actually, Lightroom is the absolute pinnacle photo editor in all aspects of editing, which is why it is the number one photo editor among professional photographers world, worldwide. Usually, Adobe sets the standard, and then other photo editors copy or take the same tools and just tweak them a little bit. Please like the video if you found it useful and subscribe to my channel in order to learn more about photo editing as well as photography in general. Take care everyone.